LPT 50 here again. This video I'm doing today is more just one just getting stuff off my chest about things, but in a way that still pertains to the beat producer slash rapper thing. It'll be a video about how important it is to me to have enough time to work on my beat producer slash rapper dream and my YouTube success goals and what I will do and not do if it's at the cost of them going down the drain. Last night after five o'clock here in Race Lake, Wisconsin, at a place called the Beer Beer and Cheese Bar and Grill, there's a man with glasses who's having a beer with his wife. And I appreciated him giving me four dollars, I think it was, and after uh, telling him about how I feel it'll be good when I get ours again here at Burger King, then he comes over and asks me that if he set me up with a job at this factory place called FG Products here so that I could you know, get out of um, you know, the kind of income situation that I've always been having to be in, you know, have to be so limited money wise that would I be willing to do it? And I feel that before, I feel now that before saying yes to that question, that I should have asked him how many hours it was going to be and what hours it was going to be. Because I have a condition where I get these awful kind of feelings in my chest that feels as if a heart attack is going to come on or or something else physically serious, you know, in my chest. It'll, it'll feel that maybe there's something going wrong with my liver or or maybe something else, you know, bad's happening here um, and, and some artery or, you know, big enough blood vessels bleeding and and uh, I'll get the I'll get a bit of a lightheaded like feeling and and then yeah even though um, after how many times I've been to the emergency room and got checked out and everything checked out fine still these uh, feelings that I get th those those kind of feelings I get still feel so freaking real like something physically you know bad is happening you know it sounds like. He was talking like um, it was going to be an all-night shift, an all-night night shift. And I did tell him that I would be worried about that getting worse, that, that condition of mine. And, yeah, when it comes to the question of if I'm willing to do that to get out of the kind of place I'm in and... and get out of the kind of income situation that I've always been having to be in. Well, yeah, I am, but see, sure, sure, $17 an hour that he was talking about, sure, that's good money, especially, you know, for an all-night shift, when you're going to you know, work an all-night shift at that, you know, pay rate. But, then, you know, when it, when he sounded like it was going to be every day, and then, and, and then that means that I'm going to have to sleep during the day every day, and then, then after I get enough sleep and, you know, during the day, then all the time I'm probably going to have left is just only enough time to do grocery shopping, do laundry, and, and, and other shopping, and and, you know, whatever other responsibility kind of things. And then I'll, it'll be time for me to, to go, you know, to the job, to the, the factory job. And, well, my, my music, you know, having time to do my music and, and also do this, you know, YouTube thing, to, to also be successful on YouTube. Yeah, having time to do that stuff is still re-important to me. So, 
you know, I, I am willing to, you know, work a job like that, uh, you know, especially that high paying of a job to get out of my income situation. But I just kind of feel, I just kind of feeling like not, not at the cost of, uh, of my dreams going down the drain, because if, if you know it's gonna be an amount of hours, especially you know enough, quite enough night shift hours that that's gonna require me to have to sleep during the day, and then, like I said before, all I end up having, the only time I end up having left is just to do grocery and other shopping and, and laundry and whatever else, whatever other responsibility kind of things. And, and have no time for my music, to do my music and you know, to do the beat producer slash rapper thing and, and this YouTube thing, to be successful on, on YouTube. You know, having time to do that stuff is still important to me. I am willing to work any higher enough paying job or, or any other job that gives me enough hours, you know, with, you know, a good enough pay to you know, get out of the kind of income situation I've always been having to be in. But again, when when the fact that you know my dreams are gonna be going down the drain, if I don't have time to work on my dreams, my my you know beat producer slash rapper dreams and 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 also uh, YouTube you know success dreams or goals I should say. Yeah, just just not at the cost of of those dreams and goals. Cause, yeah, I I can you know take that job, and yeah, yeah, bring in that that really good amount of money, you know, from seventeen dollars an hour, working an all night shift. And yeah, I will feel that 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 it will be good money. But then at the same time, I feel like I'm I'm probably still not going to be happy if I can't have enough time. If if it's going to you know make me not be able to have enough time to work on on my beat producer slash rapper dreams and and YouTube success goals. I guess that's all I gotta say about all that, and that's probably all I should probably should say about all that because right now the only cameras I'm able to find are just HD digital camcorders, including this one, that this Zoom Q2 HD, that just take batteries. They don't have a you know a power adapter you know cord plug-in. They just only use batteries. The batteries in the Zoom Q2 HD um, only have so much power left, so that's that's where that's probably all I you know should say about all that. I hope all this white light on on the side of my face isn't too bad. But uh, here in Rice Lake, Wisconsin, uh, I thought that just because it's not a really sunny day out, that that wouldn't happen. But I found it still did. But I just hope no one feels it's too bad. At least. Now, I know the video probably looks quite different here on this part of the video because uh, the batteries, what was left of the batteries I only had ran out. And so I had to switch from my Zoom Key 2 HD to my Samsung tablet. The thing that I kind of feeling really strongly about is that I'm going to get to do what I love to do. And I feel that's even if by the time I get close to dying of old age, if, if even by then my music still hasn't like really, really got making money, the way I'm at least going to look at it is, well, at least I still did get to do what I love to do. It just never got making money, that's all. And I'll feel good you know, when it comes to... Uh, being whenever I get close to dying of old age, I'll, I'll at least be glad to know that I at least made sure to have a good time doing my music, even if it never re got, you know, to making money. It was still, I'll be glad to know that it was still 
you know, doing what I love to do, you know, which is the, you know, beat producer slash rapper thing, the the music artist thing, you know, the, the, the thing of, of, you know, composing music and, and, and mixing and mastering it and, and, and writing songs. Also, that man with the glasses I was talking about at the Beer and Cheese Bar and Grill here in Rice Lake, Wisconsin, the thing that he also said to me is that you got nothing in your life right now. Well, I feel that I should have told him that I don't see that being true. I, I, I re not after I just turned out the friggin' dopest rap song that you ever heard, which is the old head song. And sure, it's not making me money right now, that old head song. But to me, with it being with it being the the freaking dopest, still the freaking dopest rap song that you ever heard. To me, I don't see that as not having anything in my life right now. To me, that's still something in my life right now. I'll tell you all though what kind of job I would work real long hours, like like 18 hour days. And that would be a recording studio job. You could put me, yeah, you could put me in a recording studio, you know, set me up with a, a job at a recording studio with 18 or, or even more hours a day, even at night. And the thing where you won't hear me complaining really is because it'll be doing what I love to do. Yeah, if I'm at work that many hours, I mean, I'm already um I, I already am working probably um for sure sixteen or or maybe close to sixteen hours a day. And, um, all the time that I've been off from Burger King, all the time that they haven't been scheduling me. Uh, I've been um, working at, you know, this rapper slash beat producer thing from either after 10 or 11 till 7 or 8 at night every day. Because, it, it, see, I'll, I'll do that. I'll, I'll work that many hours when it's something that I love to do. Even while it's still not yet making money. Because it's what I love to do. And if I ever get a job, a recording studio job, then I'll, I'll work that many hours at, at the recording studio job too. Because it'll be a job doing what I love to do. And so now with that, I'm going to say goodbye, everybody. And I thank everybody who watched this video and liked it and subscribed.